Hello. How are you? Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. It's also happy April 15th, which for many of us is a very stressful time due to the fact that it's tax day in many countries. So it seemed like this was a great day to talk about stress. So I'm so excited to see someone is already here. Hello, San Santi. Um, good to see you. So is it time to assess your stress? You know, we all have stress in our lives. It goes with being alive. Would you agree? So what we all often don't really think about is that stress is cumulative. Okay, that, about five years ago, I saw Connie McDaniel do something in a presentation that really, really made me stop and think. She held a glass of water and a pitcher. You see, I have my Young Living mug here and a pitcher that does not have water in it because I know that I, I would probably pour it in my lap while doing this here. I've done it on stage, but I have not done it in front of a camera. So every time this stress, she just held that glass and she said, okay, now, Every time there is a stressor, think of it as pouring a little more water into the receptacle. This is you, okay? You know, like you're rushing in traffic and someone pulls out in front of you. Whoops, more stress, okay? Or what if you have a cold or flu? Mm, more stress. Or suppose you get to work and your dates for, for a project were changed. Oh, more stress. And Oh, and your child says, oh, by the way, I need this for school in, in 15 minutes. So it just keeps going on and on until eventually everything just overflows unless we have a safety valve regularly now. So, you know, what does stress do to the body? Okay, well, it affects every single cell everyone and for those of you that some of you it may not make any difference but stress ages you rapidly is anybody interested there okay also stress prevents us from enjoying the present moment because we're so stressed about what could be taking place okay it weakens the immune system it creates acidity in the body. And what happens when we have acidity? This is gonna be that vicious cycle because if our body is too acidic, it's gonna create inflammation and that's gonna be a welcome environment for all those nasty little things that love to set up um, house in our bodies. And it's gonna set up the perfect environment for chronic diseases and pain on all levels and more stress. So it's just this vicious cycle going on and on and on. So what can we do? Well, of course, obviously, the essential oils can help us greatly. The key is for us to recognize that we need to have that stress release on a daily, sometimes hourly basis that it is not something that we can just put off. Many of us would say, oh, wow, and I've been there, trust me, I've been there. Um, that, you know, oh, I can just, I only have this more days before I can take, a, take some time off. Or I only have, you know, three more weeks and I will take a, a two-day holiday. Well, your body doesn't have that option because this stress is continually continuously accumulating in your body, okay? Would you agree? So we need to do this on a regular basis. And as I was thinking more and more, um, we'll go back after I finish saying this, we will go back to, um, you know, some, one of the, some of the systems that are affected by stress because everything in your body is affected by stress. And that's some of these things are questions that people have asked me to talk about. But I started thinking about, well, 
what can we really do? And I decided maybe it would be good to look at it from reverse. Instead of looking at it as reducing stress, if we look at it as what is our happiness quotient? What really, really makes us happy? What do we enjoy most doing? How often do we do it? You know, I have found that for me, I'm, I've always been a workaholic. My whole life, I was a workaholic. Achieve, 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 and never put off until tomorrow what you can possibly cram into today. Because in my mind, if I cram it into today, that means I have a whole day to fill up tomorrow. So, do any of you operate like that? Well, I'm not saying that it's better to procrastinate, but perhaps to sit back and take notice and that, that assessing often throughout the day as to what, what we're really doing. Is what I'm doing right now really productive? So often we think we're being productive and we're really just spinning our wheels. It's something that we're comfortable doing and so we keep ourselves busy doing something that really isn't moving us in the direction that we're choosing to go. So, as I said, this thing, this idea of the happiness quotient, you know, what makes us really happy and how often do we do it? That's gonna give you that ratio. The math teacher has to come out every now and then. So, um, to sit down, I made a few little notes about three o'clock this morning. I woke up and I did it in the dark. So, um, you know, it's, it's all about really just finding those things that, that are, have meaning to you. And each one of us is different. Your list will not be at all like mine, perhaps. But at any rate, I'm going to start. This is just to get your mind going while we're applying oils and talking about what not doing things that make us happy and really, really give us joy in the moment. Um, but what we can do, what's happening, and how we can support the different systems of our body. Of course, for anything on stress, you know the first oil I'm gonna talk about. It's gonna be stress away, okay? Now, if you have gathered a group of oils together, it doesn't have to be the same as the oils that I'm gonna talk about, okay? That's fine with me. Any oils you have are going to be helpful. I will tell you why I selected the particular oils. Now, I've told you about Stress Away. The name itself says everything that we need to say. So, that's gonna be the first one, and I've got mine. I have my roller balls again. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna apply it generously now. I have been dealing with something that I had never had in my whole life, and that is this dizziness, which may be something just to make me sit back and take notice, probably with the ear, because it happened after a plane flight. However, it what I've learned in dealing with it was that when I apply the oils every hour, I don't have any issue at all. When I start spacing it out, because either I just don't want to put it behind my ears and mess up my hair that will be cut off tomorrow, I can hardly wait. Um, whatever, for whatever reason, it, you know, when we're feeling better, for me, when I'm feeling better, I stop doing often the things that got me to feeling better in the first place. Can any of you identify with that? So the idea is just use what you have. So it's nice to see more of you joining us and some of you who are at night instead of in the daytime where we are. I understand that um, it's not necessarily the best time of the day or night or the 24 hour period all across the globe and it can't be. So, and I'm going to sneeze. Pardon me. So, the next oil that I selected, I just selected a bunch of the single oils. No blends today except for Stress Away, okay? The first one I selected was geranium because geranium 
has a frequency that will help to clear blocks at all levels. Now, this can be the physical level, it can be the emotional level. Stress really is emotional. Would you agree? So, geranium is a great support. It's also a great support for the endocrine system. Who knows what, there's another oil that is really a blend, that is a really great, great support for the endocrine system. That blend would be Endoflex, okay? Or endocrine, Endoflex. So, I'm gonna apply my geranium and I'm just gonna breathe it in. And as I'm doing this, I'm just going to intend that these little, uh, these little molecules go wherever they need to go to bring about that perfect harmony and balance. With the endocrine system, our hormones, I do have a lot of questions quite, quite frequently about what do we do with women's hormones after, you know, after um, age 40 or 50? Boy, that seems like child to me because it's been so many years. However, we don't have to go through what we've been told hormonal changes are going to bring about. So is as long as we are continuously paying attention to what's going on in our body. So geranium and endoflex are two of the essential oils that I think are quite essential for balancing, for, for for maintaining that, that optimal balance in the endocrine system. And remember, that's what it's all about. The hormones remaining, the whole endocrine system remaining in balance. Just like stress is about balance. The balance of letting it go, and as we're putting, adding more daily stressors to our lives, creating that escape so that the stress level does not fill up the cup, the cup of our bodies. So the next oil that I really, really love um, uh, applying for balance and for just for calmness, but for creating that perfect energy flow that is grounding and balancing, and that is you're gonna laugh. Lavender. Lavender is a wonderful oil for, for just, just about anything. So what, wherever you apply it, I'm just today applying them in my hands um, with my wonderful roller balls that we know I love now and never liked before. So. Now. Lavender, I know there have been a lot of people questioning, oh, does lavender, um, it has um, hormonal possibilities. Now, Lindsay Elmore did a great video and uh, um, on, on this, and it's all about balance. My whole feeling is that every one of these oils has nothing to do with treating any kind of symptom. It has nothing to do that's going to create imbalances in the body. It has everything to do with working with your body to bring about perfect harmony and balance everywhere. So that's my intent. Now, those of you who follow me know that I talk a lot about intent. And when I am applying an oil to myself or to anyone else, I hold it in my hands and I just intend that whatever frequencies are required for perfect balance be present in that oil. And as we focus our intent, the oil becomes even more powerful. So the next oil that I choose to apply to lessen my stress load is cedar wood. Now, why would I choose cedar wood? I choose it because it's a big, strong tree, and the tree is anchored to the ground. Have you ever noticed how everything is more harmonious when we are grounded? 
and how everything is far more stressful when we are not fully grounded. So cedar wood also is extremely high in sesquiterpenes. And sesquiterpenes um, have this ability to, um, to kind of unscramble, to assist us in finding out who we truly are. What is more stressful than attempting to be something that we do not believe we are? Think about that. I know for many years I thought I was one, one thing. And when I started realizing that how stressful I was every time I was doing that particular thing, I realized that maybe I needed to look a little closer and find out more about who Francis really is to understand more of my authentic self, understand more of what really gives me joy. Previously, it was not about enjoying anything. It was about what is the next mountain to climb. And when I reached the top of the mountain, which I always did because I would plug away until I got there, when I reached it, it really didn't mean a whole lot. Have any of you experienced that at any time? Once I began finding out more about who I truly am, I realized that I'm not losing passion, but rather gaining passion with every single day that goes by. And if that passion is not growing, growing in your belly, growing in your heart, then it is time to reassess. And when I said something about reassess your stress, wow, that's kind of what it is. Why are we stressed? We're stressed because we are not doing things that we really enjoy doing. So let's, I'm going to apply my cedar wood. I love to apply this. I put this all over my head um, at night. Um, I don't know why. I put cedar wood and lavender both all over. I massage it all over my head every night and breathe it in because I, for some reason I find that I just, maybe I'm getting lazy or I sleep really, really well when I use these two oils. Now, some of you have other secret oils that you find are, you know, much, much more e effective for gentle, flowing sleep. But I seem to love these particular two right now. Next month, it may be two others or three others or several blends. So just experiment and find out what works for you. Now, the next oil, no, the next oil, before I say anything about the next one, go back to cedar wood. Cedar wood is really, really helpful for the brain, to support the brain, the circulation in the brain, to get more oxygen into those brain cells. Now, who would not choose to have more oxygen in their brain cell cells? I'd like for my brain to work better. Sometimes I'm wondering whether my lack of memory is by choice because I'm choosing not to remember as many things that were stressful for me all those years, or whether my, my focus is just on other things now. But cedar wood is very, very good to support those three um, glands of the endocrine system, the hypothalamus, the pineal, and the pituitary gland, those major, major glands that control all of our hormones, which means essentially they control everything in our body. If you want to know more about how, how I talk about the um, the endocrine system and the way it works, please go to my website, fullerlife.com, and check out the video. It's also it's on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. So um, it was in last year's symposium, and I also did a Facebook Live 
um, a month or so, a couple of months ago on hormones. So um, you can learn all about what Francis thinks about hormones. So the next one that I choose to apply today and actually every single day, um, somebody said, oh, Jasmine said that cedarwood is her favorite oil. I'm getting better about taking a slight look at some of the things. Wow, we have somebody from Canada, that, two people. We've had somebody from BC and from Saskatchewan. Sorry, I apologize for that. So, balsam fir. Now, speaking of all that cold weather out there, balsam fir and blue spruce and um, northern lights black spruce all contain extremely grounding but balancing properties. And they're very, very balancing on all levels. So this, these are oils that I choose to apply every single day, multiple times. And I always felt that they were balancing before I really saw the chemistry of these oils. And the chemistry is actually, it's not surprising they should be balancing to us because they have a very balanced array of monoterpenes, sesquiterpenes, of, of just a gentle balancing oils. So, okay. How's everybody feeling? Now that we've gotten ourselves more into balance and understand that the balance is really the key to everything, then we might be ready to initiate some changes. Okay. And for that, I love orange essential oil. All of the citrus oils are so uplifting while also being having that energy of change in them, of letting grow, of transforming. I think of orange, even though it's not a hot oil, I think of orange as being like fire, that that crackly golden orange color, which I love to look at and think about colors, just moving through every portion of your physical form and energy being just actually like fire. It can destroy, but it can transform. So I'm going to choose to transform my level of stress and to uplift, to turn that level of stress into a level of happiness, okay? How many of you would choose to be happy today? Anyone? Okay, okay I have a question here. Do I use orange in the morning? Um, before going out. Now, if I'm going to the beach, I certainly would not put it on my face and on my arms. I generally apply oils where the sun doesn't hit my body anyway, except on my hands. Now, my hands, the palms of my hands will probably not be overly affected. Now, while I live in the tropics where we have lots and lots and lots of sunshine, we also have rain. So, and I'm not outside because most people who live in the tropics don't stay outside all day long. But if I were going to the beach, orange is not something I would choose to use in the, in the morning before going out. Neither would I use any other citrus oil, certainly not on anything that would be um, where the sun would be shining. So, um, Oh, you add a drop of the, um, uh, someone um, adds a drop of the um, orange to the Aroma Bright toothpaste. Um, I've done that too. Doesn't it taste wonderful? And it just makes your whole body tingle and it's not going to cause any sun sensitivity. Would you agree? So, let's see. Great idea. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so, she says, uh, no beach. <laughs> So, um, let's see. I, see, I'm really not very good at reading these things. I'm getting better. It, when I read them, I get all distracted and I have no idea what I'm going to say next after I've read a few things. But yes, the kids, 
Um, um, Carmen says that her kids love orange and that she added it to her kids' scent lotion. I love doing that too. Um, I, I love the kids' scent lotion. Do any of you, y'all, any of the others of you, adults, older children, use kids' scent lotion? It's my favorite. So I've never put orange on it because when I use our, um, lotion, I apply it all over my arms which will, they are the places that will get the sun the most, um, other than my face. Now, my face is exposed to sun all the time, but isn't it amazing how that art skin care and the Savvy Minerals don't have sunscreen, but my face does not get sunburned. And I am, I'm on the backs of motorbikes in Bali, and I am in the harsh tropical sun, and no sunburn. In fact, sometimes I think I'm getting pasty, so I have to use a little darker savvy. So what would be the next oil, and this would be the last because I'm not going to apply more than seven, I would apply lemon. Lemon, it's another great, great essential oil for uplifting, and we, we want to be uplifted, joyous, happy. It's also an energy of release of letting go of the things that are no longer serving us. And when we stop and think about it, stress is exactly that. It's stuff that's not productive, it's not moving us forward, and it is holding us back in more ways than we probably have any idea. So, I love applying the lemon. Now, I use lemon in everything, in everything, on everything. Of course, if you're going to put it, if you're gonna drink it, we are gonna to want to use the Vitality. Would you agree? So. But I'm just breathing mine in. By the way, two oils that I, um, I didn't mention this earlier, two oils that I massage in my head every day. I mentioned the, the lavender and the cedar wood. I held up geranium. Um, but they will help with grow hair. Anybody interested in growing hair faster? I'm interested in getting mine cut off tomorrow, but um, um, I do like to have it healthy and thicker and fuller. How about that? So, um, when our hormones are functioning, and all of these oils that we've just applied are very supportive for overall endocrine balance. So when our hormones are functioning the way they're supposed to be functioning, we're going to feel younger, we're going to look younger, we're going to be more vital, filled with vitality, filled with passion and excitement. And then we're going to think, really think about what does make us happy? What does give us that passion? And bring more of that into our lives. If you think you can't do it, trust me, you can. Because we can do anything we truly choose to do. So, I have no idea what time it is, how long I've been babbling on today. Wow, almost 30 minutes. So. It's probably about time for me to sign off for this week and see you next week. Thank you, thank you for joining us and um, I appreciate your support, your questions. Anyone who makes comments, I, will, I do attempt to answer them later on the computer because I can't always answer everything at one time. So, or while I'm talking, but you can already see how it affects me. But, just really focus on doing at least one thing every single day this week that really gives you joy. It may be something very short that does not require a lot of, of energy from you. It may be something that's more difficult to do. However, simple, simple, keep it simple, and then we'll do more and more and more things that make us happy, that give us joy until we find that we're truly living a life of passion. So 
See you next Sunday. Thank you again for being here.